Right, now we're just going to carefully turn this over and shake the rivets out. Now I want to make sure that there are no rivets hiding in this thing because we don't want any of those shaking free and potentially piercing the battery. So I'm just going to make sure there are none stuck in those gaps. We're all looking good there. Okay, let's put this to one side and gather up our rivets. Right, new keyboard going in. So I've got to bend the ribbon cable back on this. Just push that back so it's flat. And then we'll just align that in the tray. If your tray is a bit grubby, you might want to go around it with a toothbrush just to clean it up. This one's pretty clean, so it's not going to be necessary. And I'm just checking that this is sitting flat. Some of the rivets may break rather than popping out. So we've got a couple of posts sticking up and I'm just going to make sure that we're clearing those properly. That all seems happy. Right, we'll get the two actual screws in and that's going to hold the keyboard in place. And then we've got to try and put in some of these rivets just to provide some stability. Okay, so these rivets, I'm literally just going to press them back in. So I'm gonna align one up, then using some kind of prying tool or screwdriver, literally just going to press it back in with a good firm push. Now you can buy these rivets on eBay. So I wonder, there's probably some kind of rivet gun or tool that will properly refit these, but I don't have one. But I tested this on another laptop and just pressing them in, you get a reasonably good hold, enough to avoid any squidge at any rate, because this little bit of movement here, that little up and down that you can see in the reflection, that's what we want to get rid of, because you'll feel that when you're pressing the keys on the other side. Now, I'm not going to put in every single rivet, because I'll be here all day. I'm just going to put in every other hole, and that is enough to get a pretty decent hold. So we're going to go on to fast forward while I do this, because it's going to take a while. Okay, right, so we've put in a replacement rivet roughly every other hole at this point, and that is enough. As you can see, there's no flex on that, there's no movement. That is happy as Larry now. However, I am just gonna remove that one because I've just knocked it out of place, which means it obviously wasn't very tight. So I'll put that in the reject pile. All right, so now we've gotta put the backlight back on, and then we can reassemble this thing, and we will be done. That's positioned. Let's get some securing screws in place and then I'm going to get the new display assembly on. I forgot to put the fan cowls back in. We want to do this before we fit the motherboard, ideally. I can still fit them in now. It, this just would have been easier if I'd done it previously. Yeah, I just need to loosen off that motherboard just so I can lift it slightly. Okay, I'm just gonna secure some of these uh, cables now, just so they're out of the way and I'm not catching them with my hands. Oh, yeah. 
Right, so here's our new display assembly in all its packaged glory. Let's uh, take some bits off of this. Okay, so we've got the display assembly back on. I've only put in one screw on each side for the time being, just because a couple of areas like these cables need to be screwed in at a later time. So we've just secured that in place. Um, now, when you're fitting the display assembly, one thing you want to watch out for is put the screws in just so they're not quite tight, and then just check the edges with your fingers to make sure that the display is straight, because there is an amount of adjustment there. Then once it's straight, then you can tighten those screws and it will stay in place. So now we're going to fit this I.O. board back on the side and then we can start putting in the cooling system again and we will be well on our way to completion. Okay, I think we're there. We are ready to put the back panel on this and fire it up. So, let's put that fella down. And we'll just put our single securing screw in it for now. Don't worry, I've got a fresh set of screws that I'm gonna to fit to this. And we'll just make sure that this turns on. Moment of truth, pow. All right, looks like we've got a Windows install on this. <laughs> Preparing automatic repair. Whoops, that'll be my lunch alarm. Okay, right, I'm gonna cut the power to that. I don't care about you, Windows. Good night. Right, let's find my spare screws and then we can get those in fitted. Now comes my favourite bit. We're pulling the camera back for this. Oh. And double bonus round for this one. 
Oh, you got the front one. Who got, who got, who got? Ah. Oh. Oh, that's sad. Right. There we go. Just turn it on again to make sure it works after fitting the screws as well. And uh, not punch everything. Oh, the back light, come on, that's good. Ooh. And we're done. Long time coming. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.